Also, on my notes, I've wrote a swear word which I won't be saying. You don't have to be in a box and I'm there t uh, from time to time with people or just by myself. Okay, and we're back. Hello guys, um, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to the Ricky Tura podcast episode. That's right, episode 57. We've nearly left the 50s in the podcast episodes. Um, so I'm very grateful for whoever is still listening. Uh, if you've been here from the start or if you've just tuned in, I really appreciate you listening here today. Yeah, I've. you know what? I just pressed the record. You guys, you know how this podcast is now. I just speak sometimes. Just I'm just being me. So if I interrupt now and again, you know, it's just me. But yeah, it's just um, I've hit record. My mind's just gone blank, really. Um, I've got my coffee here today, so for the YouTube viewers, you know, man's got the Hanji cup here. Um, I've got my notes with me, battery is charged, all is good, and yeah, so thank you for, you know, tuning in week in, week out, you know, I really do appreciate you all. Yes, you that's listening right now, I appreciate you very, very much. Um, yeah, I've got um, four topics today. You know, man's man's doing pretty good back on the four topics. Before, I've done a few freestyle episodes a few weeks back. Uh, but I'm doing all right now. I'm doing all right. I'm starting this show, actually, a little bit earlier. About an hour earlier than usual. So, just bear with me. That's why I've got my coffee here. And that's probably why I feel a bit half asleep. Because I swear it was, like, raining last night in the UK. And it, like, woke me up and stuff. And I was just like, what's going on? Because I swear I could hear thunderstorms unless I was dreaming. But anyway, yeah, so that's why I've got my coffee here. That's why my voice sounds a bit cracked if it does. I'm going to be sipping on this coffee throughout. But um, otherwise, I'm ready to go because I have so much love for the podcast, as you guys know. I was just talking on my vlog that I'm going to be releasing next week. Um how much I actually like the podcast as well so make sure you check that vlog episode out it'll be out next Tuesday my recent one was out yesterday um but yeah I'm I'm really enjoying um this podcast series and just talking to you guys in general as well there is a lot of stuff that I want to do with it but I am being very patient at the moment so I am sticking with this and like I said in nearly all my podcast episodes, maybe I haven't said it recently, if I didn't like it, I wouldn't do it. And I suggest that for any one of you, if you're trying something new, if you know you don't like it, then don't do it. But give it at least time. Because I gave myself 50. I know this is pretty like big on myself, but I know myself and I knew if I didn't make it to this point that I wouldn't be doing it. So I gave myself a target of 50 episodes um and i left um the gary vaynerchuk topic which i had probably from day one when i started it i had that topic in mind um on my notes every single week where i put my ideas down on what i was going to talk about um but yeah i left that for the 50th episode on purpose just to see if i would reach that episode to actually tell the story and i and i did so, um, yeah, if you guys are wondering, well, Ricky, what are you going to do for the 100th episode? Um, I'm not sure, <laughs> really. I haven't really got a target this time, just for the fact that I'm enjoying it now and I don't really see myself stopping the podcast episodes unless something has happened either to myself or my family or something's going on in the shop. So they're probably the three reasons why. Um, but otherwise, I don't see myself stopping. Uh, and if I do, I'm pretty sure it won't be for that long. But hey, anything can happen in life. But I don't see myself stopping. Um, yeah, so like I was saying before, I've, I've done four topics uh, for this morning for you guys. Um, it's... It's a bit of a different one. Uh, if you're a magic lover, I'm sorry, but there's no magic in this one today. Um, but I, I wanted to go a little bit in a different, not in a different direction, but just on a different path, um, just for some of these topics. And the first one 
isn't because I've talked about stuff similar to this before. But the first topic I'm going to be talking about is the new Venom Let There Be Carnage trailer. Um, so for the superhero um, kind of Marvels fans out there, this one's for you. Um, the second one is my thoughts on podcasting. So if you like a podcaster or you want to get into podcasting, I want to show you, you know, what I think about podcasting in general. I'm going to let you know. Uh, what 57 episodes in feels like. Um, third episode is actually something that I've never really properly talked about. The last time I probably talked about something similar to this was probably in episode three. So yeah, make sure you check this topic out. It's, it is called Being a Shopkeeper. Um, yeah, I've <laughs> if you guys don't know, I work in a shop as well the family business so um i'm gonna dive into that uh because i haven't really talked about any of that since episode three and the fourth and final uh i won't take up much of your time with that topic it's may the 17th for those in the uk that do not know what i'm talking about i will explain why that day is a bit significant here in the uk but anyway time for a weatherman rick and i actually can't see out my window today because it is pretty sunny today well i wouldn't say pretty sunny the sun is out basically it's come from behind a cloud and um it's it is shining so i've had to direct my blinds a different way so i can't see out my window today but from what i can see there are some clouds but the white clouds and it's a clear blue sky like i say every single week because i have no idea what i'm talking about so, yeah, that's basically it for Weatherman Rick this week. Make sure to tune in Chat Week. Chat Week? Next week. And if you just listen to this podcast just to hear my Weatherman Rick, like, shout-outs to you, man, you're a legend. <laughs> um, okay, so, I felt like there was something else, but I'm telling you I'm still half asleep this morning because we're starting this an hour before, and I told you I couldn't go to sleep. So... Because I swear down it was thunderstorming here, man. I swear to God it was. I'm going to have to ask someone in the shop. But anyway, um, let's get on to the first topic, which is Venom. Let there be carnage. Get this quick coffee in, man. Ooh. Okay, so, I've, so on my notes, I've wrote a swear word, which I won't be saying on the podcast. Um, but... Uh, it's effing epic. That's what I basically wrote. Um, so, uh, yeah, it is. If you have not seen the trailer, this is a spoiler warning because I haven't spoiled anything yet. So, a spoiler warning if you have not seen the Venom Let There Be Carni Carnage trailer. Um, yeah, I knew the trailer was coming just from sources on Twitter and stuff like that. Um, there was a few videos of saying people that a leaked trailer happened, but I didn't even get to watch them videos. So I was going into this trailer with just a fresh mind uh, because I haven't seen the first Venom movie for a while now. I think I last watched it in 2019 um, and I enjoyed it. It was a bit short, but I enjoyed it overall. It could, It could have had more things to it but I understand why the movie was made like that because it was probably sort of a test um, first movie they didn't want to take as many risks in it so they kind of left it simple and I did feel personally for me it was a short movie but I enjoyed it overall and who does not want to see a solo Venom movie because uh, I've never seen a solo Venom movie in my life and I don't think there, there is one properly out there until a couple of years ago or three years ago so yeah so i was very excited to see this uh, because we all know carnage is going to be in the in it it's it's in the title of the movie so the first thing that we all want to see is carnage what is he going to be like uh, and you do get to see him towards the end of the trailer um and he looks amazing by the way the the carnage um the symbiote symbiote or symbiote, as they say in the movie, um, it it looks awesome, um, and it's like in the amazing, not the amazing, the animated Spider-Man series um, that I used to watch. Uh, that's where I first seen Carnage, 
and I'm a big fan as well. And I've talked about, you know, how I like the black suit is Spider-Man and how I first seen Venom in, in them series. And that's where I first seen Carnage as well. Uh, and I was very intrigued to see, uh, you know, more stuff about Carnage because I didn't see much about him in the animated series, but he actually appeared... Uh, in a few episodes after as well, but that's where I first seen Carnage. So I've actually been waiting for Carnage since the 90s uh, or the early 2000s, really, in a live movie. Um, obviously, I was young at the time, so I wasn't thinking it like that, but I was just thinking as a, as a kid, like, I want to see more Carnage. Um, and it's happened, and I'm in my 20s, and it's happened. So I did have to wait a long time, but it's here. And it, it's awesome because there's so many things... Um, that they could have, uh, that could have gone wrong basically for for this character, uh, well villain really because Carnage isn't really an antihero, he's a villain, uh, and he's just pure cold blooded killer, basically. Uh, Cassidy, um, who plays the uh, well the villain who, you know, bonds with the symbiote, um, Cletus Cassidy to be precise, um. Yeah, he's just a cold-blooded murderer. So the the difference between him and Venom is that Venom doesn't kill. In this movie, he doesn't. Because if you look at the trailer right at the beginning, it says, do not kill people or eat the heads off. Do not eat people or something like that. So they've made a deal and they don't kill. Now, Carnage is the complete opposite. He will kill whoever stands in his way. Uh, and I believe um, he, he well, I don't believe, I know I, it does happen, that he, like, some sort of, like, axes and, like, different sorts of objects he can create and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, so I've been waiting for this one a lot, and the end scene where he's in front of a church window is just amazing. Like, I can't wait to see that in the cinemas, because it does say in the trailer, only in theatres, so I cannot wait. And I believe for the UK, I did look it up on IMDb, but I could it could be wrong. But I believe in the UK, it's out on the 15th of September. Um, so there's not long actually to go. Because we're in May now, so it's like four months nearly that it's out in the UK, if that is the correct date. So I'm hoping that they post like a second trailer in like the next few weeks <laughs> I want to say maybe three four weeks but um I am I am very excited for this one they teased us this was kind of like a, it did say a trailer but it was kind of like a teaser like you understand obviously if you haven't seen it before you understand what's about to go on because it does kind of go through the story in that trailer but they teased us with a few quick carnage shots I want to see some more and I want to see some more Venom v Carnage shots of them hitting each other and punching and stuff like that. That would be that would break the internet. That um, so I want to see a battle, uh, but I'm definitely watching it on the 15th of September. Um, there's so many things yet that I want to like say on it, but I've like literally watched the trailer like five times uh, in the past. What whenever it came out, two three days. And it's got like millions of views. It was on like 8 million or something when I last watched it. So uh, I'm pretty excited to see what happens. Um, you know, just on the overall movie. Because I feel, I hope they make it long. And I hope they add a bit more, you know, uh, juice into it to make it chunkier. Because I felt like the first movie wasn't, it wasn't as big. It was just like, it was just thin. If you know what I mean, if you know how I'm describing it, like this movie needs to be, and I, and I know it is, because I believe uh, Carnage's girlfriend or Cledius Cassidy's girlfriend, and I've totally forgotten her 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 name now, um, in it, but she does appear in the trailer, so I do believe they will be working together, and I, I know this because I've watched tons of, well not tons, I watched a few um, videos on the trailer to explain who she is, uh, as well. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So I do feel like it's going to, it might be a double team up as well. And apparently, um, the police detective in the movie as well, who's after, you know, 
these victims that Cletus has killed and buried somewhere. He's on he's on that mission to find them. Uh, he bonds with some sort of symbiote as well, um, and he becomes someone else, a toxin or something like that. Um, I saw that on a TikTok video yesterday, actually. So yeah, that's pretty cool as well to see if they expand that type of symbiote universe as well what will make me lose my my mind i was going to say something else there is if there is a spider-man or some sort of marvel post credit scene or even a venom type of three post credit scene now it is in association with marvel but i really do hope that they do something where it's like the post credit scene like the first one is just like a teaser for Venom 3 whatever they call that and then I hope right at the end after all the credits have been it's like a Spider-Man like post credit like I would I would go crazy but apparently it's not connected and there have been um what do you call it links to the Marvel Cinematic Universe apparently the Daily Bugle paper um, it, 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 that logo in itself is like connected to the R Sam Raimi se series, Spider-Man trilogy, and there was something like somebody pointed out that it said Avengers, but like half of the words was cut out due to the paper being in over the shot, so it just said N E G or something like that. But apparently the whole word said Avenger. That's what people are theorizing, but it's not confirmed because you couldn't see the whole word. Um, so there are little bits and bats and that Cletus, he smacks a spider on his desk uh, as well. So it's really weird to see if it is connected or not. Because there's a, uh, the original Tobey Maguire trilogy, trilogy Spider-Man photo in the Morbius trailer which was released last year as well. And it said the word murderer over it. So it's kind of weird to see what type of, is this connected? Because apparently in an interview... Tom Hardy said it's not, but I'm very confused because they're, I think they're just little Easter eggs and nods. I think Sony are planning to keep this universe, but they're getting Marvel's help, but they haven't got Marvel's full access to it, if you know what I mean, to the movie. Marvel can input things, but I believe Sony are just the full, because they own the characters, so they're the full, you know control of them but they have shared spider-man out so i'm i'm quite intrigued to see how it fits in if it does but if it doesn't fair play because i feel like sony are gonna do something in like the f in like five years time and be like to marvel okay yeah we want spider-man now because we created our own universe see ya and yeah i feel like <laughs> you know they might create their own sinister six movie by themselves but which i hope they don't because I'd love to see Spider-Man still in the MCU, but it's always politics at the end of the day, isn't it? And it's always something to do with money and contracts and ownership of different things. So we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. But that was that was my Venom Let There Be Carnage trailer reaction. So I hope you guys um, took some stuff from that as well. And if you don't know by now, yes, I'm I'm a huge like comic superhero film fan as well i love talking about it and watching them as well so yeah that was uh, the venom 2 reaction oh i've got to get that coffee in guys on a um other note before i get into the second one i watched guardians of the galaxy um this weekend this past weekend i just felt like watching it Totally forgot how awesome it was. The first movie I watched, it was it was amazing. Just the standalone films like from James Gunn um, for the for the Guardians movies, just amazing. Like I can't wait for Volume Three as well. Okay. Right. So let's go into the second topic, which is my thoughts on podcasting. Now, I haven't written as many notes on this because I just want to talk directly to you guys as well since I am 
on the podcast talking to you guys. Um, I put, I like it. Um, I've been doing it for over a year now. I'm just going to stick to them first two points first. Yes, I do like it. Um, I have love for the whole podcast. Like when I first started, and I've talked about this before, I was very nervous. Didn't know what to say. Um, it was something completely different looking into a camera. Uh, but my overall thoughts on just podcasting alone, it's it's changed because I thought it was just interviewing people. But really, it can go in any direction you want. And I would highly recommend for anybody starting, please use the app Anchor. I'm telling you this from experience. You don't need a microphone. I didn't even have a microphone at the beginning. I probably wouldn't even have a microphone if it wasn't for a Christmas present. So, what I'm saying is that you can record it from your phone. Um, I did that for like the first 38 episodes. And you can basically talk about whatever you want. And that's what I love about podcasting. You have freedom to talk about whatever you want. And uh, you don't have to be in a box it's like your own sh- radio show, but you're just posting it online, kind of. And I don't like being in a box. And, like, if I was on somebody else's show... Well, no, no, not, not somebody else's. If I was on, like, a company, like a brand podcasting, like, platform, and I was hired there as an employee to work for that, and the manager comes in or the owner or whatever, whoever's in charge saying, look, Ricky, you can't talk about this, this, this and this, uh, but you can talk about this, but I would tone it down on this. And it's like, I don't like being told or having a limit on what I can say. Um, and I felt like pod, my own podcast, which I'm in 100% control of, it's not a big podcast at all. It's just me. Like I, I do this for fun really, and that's why I enjoy doing it week in, week out, I have full control on what I can talk about, I, I can swear, I can, I can talk about things that maybe people don't necessarily agree on, I can talk about stuff that people love and definitely do agree on, um, I don't have to talk about just one thing, I don't have to talk about like just magic, I can talk about superhero movies, I can talk about whatever, I can talk about where I went to school, where I used to work, what I do for work now, What do you know what I mean? Um, and I have all this stuff and it really does make things a lot easier for me to talk to you and it doesn't make it harder for me um, necessarily to just talk about one thing and coming up with one thing in that category every single week um, because it'd be harder for me then if you know what I mean, if I'm, if I explain that right, um, so, yeah, that's, that's basically why, um, that's my current thoughts on podcasting, that it's just the freedom that it gives, I have a, a freedom of speech, I can just talk about whatever I want, and if you guys like it, you like it, if you don't, you don't like it, you can switch off and go to somewhere else, or if you like it, you can watch another episode, so, well, listen to another episode, so that's my thoughts on podcasting and I say this like nearly all the time for people that don't know what to do about podcasting like I do two things I record it and I actually put it up on podcasting platforms as well but if you don't feel like you're comfortable on camera you don't have to even record it you can just literally just get a mic or just your phone and just talk into it so it's it works out for everyone really for people that are really as good on camera or for people that just like talking without a camera being there um so i feel like it's it's one of them things that anybody can really do um so you definitely should try it and it's just a platform for me that i can expand on in the future um i'm only doing one thing at the moment with my podcast and that's just talking directly to you guys um but there are so many other things that i can do with this as well that you know hopefully i'm not going to say what i can do with it 
but I'm just saying that there are many things that I can do with it, which hopefully in the future you will see. Uh, I'm just being very patient at the moment um, with it and just sticking to this. And I feel like I've got some sort of solid foundation with this podcast now as well. Um, but hopefully in the future, maybe, we'll we'll see uh, what I want to do with it. But I'm very happy that I'm doing this and I'm very happy that people, even at least one person listens to it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts, really. It's just nice and sweet and short. It's just basically, that's it's simple as that, really. It's just the freedom uh, that it gives you. And it gives you another, like, I'm so used to performing at gigs pre-covid and just practicing and performing and working in the shop it, it this gives a totally different view for you guys on on me like for you guys to watch or listen to as well because you're not really used to somebody like just performing and then hopping on a podcast and talking about their life or things that they've gone through or things that they like so it gives you some sort of other um view or sheds like another type of light on me that you guys necessarily haven't seen or heard before as well. So it's, it's honestly, it's so good in many ways as well. And whatever you're doing, if you've got a business, personal brand, or you're doing whatever, I'd definitely start a podcast because it will definitely change the way you think uh, and view things as well and how it will benefit you or your business as well. So yeah, that's my, th- that's my thoughts on uh, podcasting. Oh man, I don't know why, but I just feel so tired today, guys. As well, and honestly, it's not because I'm an hour early. I honestly think my sleep was interrupted as well. So, you know, I don't know, man. I'm, I feel like going to sleep, honestly. But I'm, I've am i got my coffee here. I'm halfway through. It's that black coffee, so it's it's strong as hell. So it's not going to keep me from doing this podcast at all because I'm I'm going to go through it. Do you know why? Because I've got one hell of a topic coming up for you right now. So the third topic, all right, guys, for this podcast episode is being a shopkeeper. <laughs> Let me take a sip of coffee because this is going to be a good one, I hope. This might even be a long episode, I don't know. Um, but yeah, being a shopkeeper, um, let me, um, go through some of the things that I have on my, um, notes, just so I can get a good, okay, alright, so I haven't seen my notes since yesterday, so, yeah, being a shopkeeper, so basically working in retail, um, but I'm going to talk about it from my end. Um, being a shopkeeper maybe I can expand on a part two of this as well maybe I can think of other things as well so this might be a part one Um, but it's not easy um, being a shopkeeper you you get respect off most people meaning your customers now I'm talking about in a corner shop because that's basically where I work and I'm there uh, from time to time with people or just by myself so I've experienced it both really um i enjoy it with people but i enjoy it doing myself doing it myself as well so you get respect off most people meaning your customers you build um some sort of like friendship really especially with your local customers as well um so you know shout outs to all the customers that come to the shop you know um but yeah you have to toughen up definitely because you do get people that try to take advantage of you and uh, you have to toughen up like 100%. You can't let people walk over you as well. Um, and I feel like in retail, especially being a shopkeeper, um, it's definitely kind of like a shortcut on how to toughen up because if you don't, I don't think you'd be working there for much longer, for real. Um, because it is, it's a tough industry. And, you know, people that own shops or worked in shops or worked in retail or dealt with customers... You know what I'm talking about. I'm not just pinpointing it just for shopkeepers that it happens. But I'm just saying it from my point of view from where I'm working from. And yeah, you definitely have to toughen up. And it's something, you know, that's... um, 
I'm quite an easygoing guy. I'm quite chilled at times as well. So things don't really get to me. But if you do have to toughen up, like, you know, you've got to, there's no other way to get around it. And in the shop, that's definitely, um, you know, worked, uh, you know, either the easy way or the hard way. You know what I mean? There's easy ways just to build up to it. Or there's hard ways where if there's just one customer and just you have to do what you've got to do. So, yeah, it's but it's nice though. Like you have your ups and downs. Like it's nice to talk and engage with like conversations with customers and stuff as well. You know, shopkeepers the whole shebang really. So you can like fill in the shelves, uh, working on the till, stock taking. Um, you know, social media, I guess. Um, and you know, cash and carry runs. So you know what I mean. Um, you kind of doing the whole shebang of finances as well. So yeah, it, but it's nice. Like the the good parts are like talking when you get like your cool local customers or like your cool customers coming in. You can like talk to them, engage in conversations and stuff. You build a friendship. Um, and it's a lot of hard work, man. I'm not even gonna mess about with you no more. Um, working in a family business, uh, and I've told you about my dad as well in episode three, his work ethic is unbelievable. And if I ever match it in my lifetime, you know, I feel like it's life's completed. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's hard work, man. Like, I, I've, I've got used to it, but I know that there's like a different level each time. So you can't just stop at one level. So I'm like used to the level now. Um, but I know there's still levels forever that I need to do. So it's a never ending game really of hard work. But I feel like I've got some sort of basic level of hard work in me that I can do. Um, so yeah, it's not easy. It's not, I think um, as a customer, from a customer's point of view, you, you might see me behind the counter and maybe sometimes I'm on my phone as well if there's nobody in. But if somebody walks in and sees me on my phone, maybe from their point of view, it's like, oh, he's just behind the counter all the time. And in reality, it's not like I'm always doing something. And I'm always like filling the shop, doing the stock to whatever. So there's a lot of different things um, that goes into it, being a shopkeeper as well. Um, and you have your good days and your bad days, you know, sometimes your good days are like, you know, you know, customers have been really nice, you know, you've, your stock's all come in and your shop's running efficiently and your bad days are like, oh my God, nothing came in the delivery. I've got customers that are dropping products in the shop left, right and centre, somebody's stolen, some, you know what I mean? So you get your good days and your bad days as well. Um, do I like being a shopkeeper? You know what? I'm going to be very, very honest with you. And I've said this in episode three, but if you haven't listened to episode three, I'm going to say it again. I didn't, you know. I didn't. Right at the start, I didn't. And I'm talking about when I was a kid. Um, But now, if I'm telling you in the past four or five years, yes, I do. I really do enjoy it. Um, And I feel like the hardest things have the best rewards sometimes as well and it's it's not easy but once you break through some sort of barrier that sets you on how to do things especially being a shopkeeper or in the shop you kind of get into that routine of things and it becomes second nature to you and from there there's different levels but it becomes a lot easier for you to 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 manage and run a shop so yeah I, I don't know if any of that made sense but that's just my thoughts and opinions on being a shopkeeper as well so yes I do like it it's not easy it's hard work but it's a great payoff at the end of the day as well so yeah and it and it teaches you different things in life as well man it teaches you to toughen up it teaches you how to talk to different types of people as well it builds friendships as well gets you to know a little bit more about business as well and how to run a business um so yeah that's my thoughts on being a shopkeeper okay so i'm gonna end this episode on the fourth topic okay and 
this one is called May 17th. I've got to take my sip of coffee, man. Okay, so May 17th. Okay, for people that are not in the UK, Ricky, what in the world are you talking about May 17th? So, May 17th is the day where lockdown eases, meaning that a lot of people can go to restaurants um, and different places and meet up with other household members. Now, I'm going to just go through the list quickly um, of some things if I can find it and just read some stuff out to you okay so what does it mean what can you do from May 17th okay people in the UK you can meet outdoors in groups of up to 30 six people or two households can meet holidays allowed with traffic light system overnight stays with people outside your household more can more contact between friends and family including hugging likely to be allowed which was a bit weird because it's like Okay, anyway, restaurants, cafes and pubs can serve indoors, indoor entertainment such as cinemas, museums and theatres can open, we talked about cinemas last week, hotels and B&Bs can have guests again, indoor groups, sport and exercise classes can restart, cap on number of mourners allowed at funerals, lifted up to 30 people at weddings, wakes and other life events, performances and indoor sporting events can be half full up to a capacity of 1,000. At the biggest seated venues such as Wembley, up to 10,000 attendees will be allowed. So if you're not in the UK, well now you know what it is all about. Um, yeah, so I'm, uh, it's it's been a long time coming, guys, if I'm completely honest with you. We haven't had something as big as that s since before the pandemic, really. Only certain things have been opened from March 2020. Bearing in mind, things were closed twice from March 2020 up until about, I don't know, a couple of months ago. So, we'll see how it goes. We're on a roadmap to get out of this, but we'll see what happens. Um, but you can mostly do anything you want from the 21st of June, meaning you can go to nightclubs. Social distancing will be removed as well. But it'll, for me, it'll just be nice to see my friends and family. Uh, and it's the first time since 2020 you can go to most places anyway. Um, you'll only have to wait about another month until you can go to a nightclub and apparently not social distance from people. But yeah, um, what am I excited to do? Just see friends and family and go to the cinemas like I said last week. Um, but to finish off this episode, because since I've gone through the points, I'm going to end it here. Uh, but I've got a couple of questions for you. Where will you be going on May 17th? And what will you do first? So yeah, that's something to uh, to let me know. Let me know on Twitter, at Ricky Tura, R-I-C-K-Y-2-R-A. Um, but in the meantime, guys, thank you for listening to this episode. I'm starting to feel more awake as the minutes are going on and this coffee is definitely helping so i hope you guys have a great day or night uh make sure you like subscribe and rate the episode as well you can review it if you want uh, but i'll see you guys next week so have a great day or night wherever you are <laughs>